Embalming is a popular thing because for a lot of people it's that act of closure. They need the visual to be able to see them in the casket, touch them. It's really important to them. I'm getting ready to embalm a body right now. It's kind of a thrill for me. I, I kind of get kind of like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to embalm somebody now. You know, it's kind of weird, but I really love doing what I do. Okay, now we can prepare for embalming. Mix my fluid in my tank. This particular fluid has a lanolin base. Gives a nice texture and coloration to the tissue. The main artery used in embalming is the right common carotid. Now I'm going to open the artery and proceed to inject. Here we go, we're off. The embalming process is done by formaldehyde being pushed through the arteries, through all of the vasculature. As everything is pushed in, the blood is pushed out. Pretty soon you'll see a change in coloration. The fingers will begin to turn a pinkish color. People are afraid of death, so any care of the dead is frightening to them. I try to demystify it for them because too many, too many people are death phobic. And they shouldn't be, there's no reason to be. It's not the dead that, you know, can hurt you, it's the living. The hands are nice and pink now. The tissue will also take on a different texture. It's a little firmer. One of the skills of embalming is to find the fine line between embalming for preservation and embalming for appearance. She takes pride in making a deceased person look almost like they're alive and just sleeping. Getting a little bit of color change in the feet. Hey, it doesn't look half bad. It is a body, but you know, the spirit is gone. It's just an empty shell. And that is that. Nobody comes back here. Nobody ever bothers me. I'm all by myself. It's just me and my buddies. My guests, as I like to call them. <laughs>